Hello, 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 Gemini. I'm about to get me another deck because my energy is looking like it wants me to use another deck that I haven't used in a while. So, just getting that right now. <clears throat> I hope everybody is doing very blessed and very well. All right, so gems, gems, how are you guys doing? Today is actually a beautiful day. It was kind of weird earlier, but it's like pretty, pretty sunny outside. It's like this is a day that you should have something to do, honestly. You know, go to the park or something like that. Perfect day to hang out. <laughs> All right, so let's get entwined with the energy for Gemini's angels. Ooh. What's Gemini's? Ooh, this is why I haven't used this deck in a minute because they're slippery. Oh my goodness. Thank you guys for even, you know, all the comments about my dry hands. Thank you. I was like wondering why my hands were getting so dry. So it was the paper. <laughs> All right. So these are more like plastic. I don't know. But um, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Since I shouldn't get my hands too dry. <clears throat> okay. Angels. What's going on for Gemini and the person that Gemini is thinking about? The person that is coming through here what do want they what do they want to tell gemini as well what's their energy the person that's thinking about gemini and the person that gemini is thinking about what is their energy universe our major power which is the lord and savior our divine ultimate divine okay so what's the energy <clears throat> for gemini in love for Gemini in love. What's the energy for Gemini in love? Ooh. Always protecting your energy, Gemini. I feel like this energy is definitely... That's something that happened between you and this person. And you feel like you just have to protect your mental state and your money for some of you. I feel like a lot of you are trying to enjoy life, trying to move forward. But there is this, um, why am I feeling like this person, Capricorn energy, by the way, it doesn't have to be, but you also have Capricorn Virgo Taurus here. I just feel like this person is blocking your way from any kind of, like, moving on. Like, you're trying to be single for those of you who are even, you know, just drinking and, you know, meeting new people. And this person really thinks, like, no, what are you doing? You know, kind of energy. Like they think that you belong to them they're kind of like uh-uh that's not gonna happen you know they're not i don't feel like they're like if you want to go out with them that's something else but to meet to mingle nah not alone not alone and i feel like this person watch out for this energy because this is someone that is definitely not confident within themselves Yeah, this is someone that you want to walk away from. This is what they're saying, or you walked away. You chose your destiny. You made your decision. And you walked away without knowing the facts, without knowing the truth. But I feel like this person didn't tell you the truth because their energy is so... Let me just put this candle a little bit. Their energy is so like nonchalant, like you are not going anywhere kind of vibe. So I'm seeing some kind of like communication or some kind of determination, passion, moving forward, like moving towards this to trying to figure things out. Somebody older. Because there's a decision that you have to make. I saw the justice. No, was it? Um, it was a Libra energy, but it was the judgment in reverse. And now we have the justice in reverse. So 
there is something being you you kind of you definitely feel like this person isn't true this person isn't being true to you and this is why you're feeling like you have to protect your energy and trying to not think about this person as often okay and i definitely see that <clears throat> you're on the way of trying to find out the truth but i just feel like this isn't your energy i feel like this person is moving towards all of this some kind of determination you know um a lot of ego here but i feel like with this it's like okay success let's see here then we have the justice here in reverse with the ten the ten of swords you're going through a lot i feel like you are trying to move forward knowing that you're not being told the facts you're not being told the truth this person doesn't make you feel like they choose you or they want you you know you feel like you're out you're like you're an outcast a lot of you are dealing with a ten of swords in your back because of this energy wow wow okay i'm seeing leo or sag or even um aries energy but particularly a leo that is coming out here within this trend okay i am seeing there's going to be healing here because i i feel like there is like these good things and then these are some like bad things happening in between at the same time <laughs> because i'm seeing like a lot of you might be going through some kind of promotion at your job where people really depend on you but right now you're definitely going through a lot especially within your home and you're going you're dealing with someone that is is not very easy to talk to um this person have a lot of communication issues they're kind of jealous as well this is what i'm picking up here a lot of jealousy a lot of jealousy but the angels are saying like hey you know there you have you have what it takes to get through this for those of you who feel like this is it for you like there's no there's nothing good that's going to come out of this like you're losing your grip like you're losing everything I feel like this is intense okay like you're going to be empowered to find out something or to discover something in the world <sighs> but this is a feeling that you can't get rid of okay um you're here to nurture you're here to you know love you're not coming off as a fighter okay not in a physical way i feel like you're more like definitely you know when you're fighting you're trying to fight for the relationship to actually make it work but there's a lot of energy where i'm seeing like you know there's no set foundation when it comes to the future with this person but again you're coming off as a sweet person but does it's like you're trying to protect your money though but at, at, but at the same time it's like you're trying to let this person know like hey if you need me i'm here kind of energy because this is what this is what makes you happy even if you're losing everything you know you're like i'll make it up no worries you know and this is taking away a lot from you and your growth because you are helping others to grow helping others to succeed in your in your um relationships okay so tell me more but i feel like even though you're going through a transition when it comes to financial freedom for those of you you're going to be struggling for a while and the angels are kind of like oh my god my cat just freaked out because of the let me close the window you guys i had it open because my cat was there but now you know it's a nice day in atlanta and everybody likes to show their toys um and then there's some motorcycles <laughs> that are you know playing tricks i guess um i even got scared and i'm like what the hell all right so this is like really taking away from your 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 growth 
um, not that you shouldn't help people, but you should make sure that you have something to fall back on. Um, so be careful with your spending. This is what I'm hearing. And there is going to be this awakening for you to realize, oh my God, I'm doing a little bit too much here and I need to actually save. All right. I need to actually take responsibility and close these chapters in my life and work on those and, and work on that. I can't be there. I can't help this person anymore. You know, you're coming through that real like, oh, that realization that it can't be you. Look at that. The four of pen, the four of pentacles, you guys. Money issues, money issues, all three cards, all three cards. But I'm seeing like you're getting back some kind of stability. But at the end of it all, oh, it's like this warning for you to like watch out with your spending. Make sure that you're doing things in the right way, in the right order. OK, so let's see what this person's energy is when it comes to Gemini. What's this person's energy? Or Gemini <clears throat> I feel like they are confused sometimes they go back and forth within their mind um, and then they go you are my everything okay I want you to choose so this person is saying that you need to choose between something and them like they don't feel like you know it's them and you in this relationship alone they're getting another person or something else that they're, is taking away their time with you possibly your job for those of you okay um my life started when i met you wow you are right wow so i feel like there's some good messages here when it comes to your person's energy i feel like this person is like you're right and they don't want you to know like they would never tell you this in the physical world i want a fresh start with you wow this is really nice Oh my goodness, please give me time. I never felt this way before. Dot dot dot. So this is love. Okay, this is love. They're trying to figure things out. A lot of you might be going through court issues as well, and it's just not working out. For those of you who are um, married to this person, I don't see that, but I feel like a lot of you live together or have um, some kind of counts together. I think so. Yes, this is what I'm seeing here. Not sure what it means yet. Will you choose me? So someone is saying that you are in something else because you have throughout all these messages, you have I want I want you to choose. OK, then you have number four. Will you choose me? So this person is saying there is something else and they're coming and they want you to trust that. And so they're coming really quickly and they want you to, to have a decision. This is what I'm seeing here. They miss you, number six card. They feel like they knew you forever, okay? Physically as well. They're like sex with you though. Oh my God. <laughs> I need time for me. I feel like this person is not getting the answers that they want from you. And they kind of go into that four of swords. Like I need time to think, time for myself here. Okay, so we have, if I follow you, would you... Um, okay, if I follow you, I could lose everything. Excuse me. I can't read this card. And then it says, now it's not the right time. So I'm feeling like this person has their, they're bringing you up, but I feel like they have their own stuff going on as well because they're like, it's now is not the right time. And there's something about choosing you. They could lose everything. Um, I feel like a lot of you Gemini's might be in a relationship and they're just not sure how you feel they want a change they want to move forward but i feel like your person might be in something else as well you're so very special and they're saying wait i never had this card before wow you are so very special number 21 and then you have seven they're saying wait because there, there's a conversation or there's going to be some kind of communication coming towards you and them there's going to be some information that you're going to be finding out and help you to decide i lie awake thinking about our future yeah they're trying to see like oh four 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 <sighs> a lot of fours here happiness is my priority yeah so they're thinking about you and they're thinking about the happiness they're thinking about things that 
they want to work between you and them i just dream and wish for everything dot 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 to work out i feel like this person really wants things to work out with you and they're hoping within the stars that it's going to work out you are wrong so we have you're right you are right and then we have you are wrong so we have two energies that are throwing shades here <laughs> shades okay that's not the same person yes we have i think so yes and now we have yes number 15 you make me want to do bad things one more Ooh, a new beginning the ace of wands the ace of wands no secret there this person wants a new beginning with you okay and i feel like this person is very passionate towards you as well gemini and they're coming towards you to let you know this this is very quickly so this is the kind of energy that i was feeling with this um knight not this knight this um king this king of wands a lot of success a lot of determination and i felt like this was happening very quickly so this is something that you need to watch out for okay all right so we have that and then we are going to get the black deck involved here for gemini so we have a libra energy we have the world we have gemini aquarius we have taurus um stubborn self and then we have leo and we have the sun again leo right here we have Capricorn. I don't remember seeing any cards under here. That could be... Okay. <clears throat> Ooh, Leo coming out a lot. Three times. We have the strength as well. Ooh, so I'm getting uh, similar energy between you and this person. Stubbornness. This is what I'm getting, okay? Aries, Leo, or Sag energy. You both want to be successful, but you're doing things differently. You just, you're the same, same re result at the end of the day, but it's like you go about things differently. And this is what bumps heads because <laughs> you're like, do it this way, you know, kind of vibe. So you're going to find out the truth, like the secrets are coming up onto the surface. And I feel like we found, we'll have the wait card here. Because you're going about about to find out something and then here you have your secrets and then you have the keys and the lock everything is coming out on the surface so get ready this is someone from your past and then there's going to be peace to this and um i'm seeing like a peaceful resolution with this situation but it's going to happen at its time it's going to happen very slowly Okay, we have a few. We have family. Okay, trick and believe. So something about the family as well as coming through. Something about shadiness. Someone's being very shady, and you could not believe when this happened. This is what I'm being told here. Like it happened, and it brought up a lot of like wounds scars you know <laughs> because this is something that happened before but i feel like you have the universe behind you things are going to come together very lovely for you and things are going to come together even though you know the funny thing is you have this justice here this person needs to watch out for karmic energy because it's it's happening i think it's already happening for them you're being watched as well by a lot of people, people from your job that really are inspired um, of your work and how you do certain things and your approach to things. There is going to be a new beginning because there's an end coming up for you with a relationship, with a situation. <sighs> I feel like there's going to be some kind of um, love coming into your life. This is going to be a little bit um, overwhelming at first. This may be a Sag energy. They're going to be like, why am I feeling like a little bit too much to get your heart? <laughs> a little bit too much. But I, I feel like, watch out for the, um, the shadiness. Because I'm feeling like someone is trying to take your joy because you're seeming to be very, very happy right now. 
very very in your bliss like things are about to happen for you you feel it you know it and someone is trying to take that sun away from you okay one more one more wow balance and wisdom balance and wisdom so we have an older energy coming through here i feel like you lived a long long time um, the strength is also coming up again for you. So there's a huge conflict here that the angels don't want you to run away from. All right. I'm going to use the angel deck in a moment. And then we're going to go into this person's energy. I'm going to open the window, you guys. <laughs> um, <clears throat> let me open it. Go all the way Because my cats love to jump on the window. They just do. All right, so hopefully we won't hear any crazy motorcycles or something like that. But I just feel like they're saying like you are beyond your years. You already know what's going on around you. Trust your intuition. We're making a decision. Then I'm seeing everything aligning together. Balance is coming back into your life. Just like I picked up before, I'm like something you just like something good is happening and something bad is happening at the same time. And I feel like you're going through a transition. It's like the the things that you wanted to find out or the things that's holding you back from being successful. Um, that's messing with your energy is being removed from your life. OK. All right. So tell me more. What's the angels energy? Ooh, you have ground in. So a lot of you. We're on top. You were thinking about certain things. This is what I'm seeing. Like you're in another life. Like the way you were acting was out of the norm. Um, you weren't really emotional or emotionally tied. You were kind of ma like materialistic, you know, and something happened where it kind of like ground you back to reality and ground you back to spirituality and made you really just look at things for what they are um in a spiritual aspect and not in like everybody's out to get you kind of energy and i feel like now you see the mission it's like you're being grounded back to this is your purpose you were off track and now you need to go back onto your purpose and i feel like a lot of you are there you're very thankful um a lot of you might be in tears when you realize this this energy as well and you were very lost you were like damn i don't even know who that person was you know this is what I'm seeing here. Like you're just like at a loss. Like how could I got that bad? How could I act this way towards other people? Knowing that I'm not a bad person. A lot of you are just like um, realizing, you know, what's, what's, what had happened. Um, so yeah, your angel has been guiding you um, through this process. So we also have decisions here that you're going to have to make. Okay. And I feel like your angels are going to be guiding you through this as well. You have Angel 27, Angel 14, and then we have, why are you always getting health? I feel like and for this to always be coming up out of so many cards, I just feel like, you know, your ancestors are like really just, they don't want, they, listen, this, this aspect of this world is a learning um, section. This is not our home. This is this body that we have, and I think I explained it yesterday in one of your videos i don't know if it was scorpio or gemini's but you know uh, maybe i would make a separate video one one day but um your ancestors are looking down on you and trying to remind you to take care of yourself you know they want to be reunited with you one day but they're like no it is not your time P please do not make it your time <laughs> If that makes sense, you know, we all have a clock, you know, but you have to experience certain things and they want you to go through life gracefully, not in pain, not, you know, in agony. They want you to experience this lesson joyful and, and, and painless and happy. And they're like, please remember to take care of yourself. For those of you who are drinking, um, taking drugs as well, they're saying cut it out, cut it out. Okay. Um, you're just making things worse on your body and when it's time say a tragic a tragic should oh my god a tragic oh my god I can't even speak a tragic situation happened thank you angels um, to you and your body needs to fight off that infection or something like that you're going to make it very difficult for yourself because stuff do happen that doesn't mean that it's your time you know they don't want it to be your time okay 
Um, so please take care of your body, take care of your health, mentally, physically, spiritually, okay? Take care of your well-being. Um, they can give you dreams, they can have you see signs, but you, they cannot control you. Just like the angels. The angels do the same thing, but they cannot control you, okay? You have the power to make this decision on your own, and they want you to just, you know, live a full life, okay? Look at that. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, we have belief. Oh my God, then love. Okay. So your angels have, oh my God, I'm just going to put this love aside. Number 16, number, um, this came out first, number 28, number three. This is all spirituality. This is all your ancestors on the other side. A lot of you are finally in this place of believing that it's a higher power. That is this like this situation is definitely more than you. You know, there is something else that no one has any information about, and that is the spiritual world. Okay, and I feel like you need to know, like your ancestors. Look at them. Look at them. Your angels are all over you, guiding you giving you dreams and a lot of you are remembering them too out of nowhere and it's been so so long and you're like oh my god yeah my grandmother died or my brother died or my best friend you know it doesn't have to be your family tree this could be people that truly just you know passed away and always been around you and you just never really like felt them felt them and suddenly out of nowhere you're just remembering them and like yeah I had a cousin that I was really close to or we could have been close and you know or something like that and you're just always remembering them look at you looking at this photo of someone that you're thinking about for some of you, you could be looking at old pictures something that you just came random ram, randomly on and you start like oh my god I can't believe this is a watch that my dad had or something that reminded you of them or a conversation with someone else that really sparked that memory of oh yeah yeah it's been a year it's been 11 years since they passed or 20 years since they passed since you have number 3 28 and 16 so keep that you know in your mind you guys with these numbers but they're all about your ancestors and all about your connection to the spiritual world and your beliefs wow how beautiful is this and then they have a message for you and guess what it is for those of you who think that you're alone who think that you're never gonna find love who think that you know this is it for you this is your life coming home from work and just going grocery shopping and you know cooking a meal for yourself and you know Christmas comes around you don't have nobody there you know Thanksgiving comes around you don't have nobody to celebrate with oh my god should we talk about Valentine's Day should we talk about Valentine's Day and the energy that I feel when Valentine's Day, even the, 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 um, the anxiety that comes with that at Valentine's Day, like, they're like, what? Ew, oh my God, those people, oh my God, thank you, angels. I'm getting people who don't have children, Mother's Day, Father's Day. Like, you're like, damn, been waiting for all of this and nothing happened. Just know that they have a surprise for you that they've been working really hard on. Love, angel of love is coming in. You're meeting someone. Your ancestors, been as much as you've been praying for them, because death is not the end. They're there living it up, honey. They're happy. We're here struggling. This is the physical world. This is hell on hell. Well, you could, people say heaven on hell, okay? Or hell on, you know, in both. You're living both. We have good, we have bad. We have light, we have dark, right? This is the world that we live in. In a between world. In a limbo world, you should say, you know? That's why when a lot of spirits pass, instead of going to the light or going to that place of peace, they stay in limbo, especially when they don't have peace, okay? So, and they stay here. Limbo is here. <laughs> Nowhere else but the world that we live in, okay? Crazy, right? So, just know your ancestors been praying it up for you, okay? They'll be dealing. They were, they, look, <laughs> I'm seeing them like planning, sitting around the table. Okay, so we have to have a conversation about our little, uh, you know, nephew over there or my, her grandchild or, you know, like, they're really planning for you because, you know, they hear you. They see you. They're with you when you're sitting on the couch by yourself watching TV. 
you know, uh, around the table, eating a meal by yourself, looking at your phone, going through your phone. This is your routine. This is your entertainment, you know, because you're always by yourself. You know, you can't really trust someone and you're bringing someone in your life where, damn, it's going to be a little bit different. And you're going to know that this is someone different because the way, first of all, how you meet is going to be organic. Okay because they've been planning this. It's not gonna be someone from the streets or anything like that. It's not for the kids. They're just out and having fun. I love it when I hear beautiful children, you know, just playing around and being free. Um, and that's another thing. You're going to be free in this person's energy. It's like you're not going to feel like you have to worry about where this person say they are going to go, who they're going to be with. You're going to have this feeling of feeling, feeling light feeling like you can trust them, even though, oh my God, you got so many messages. One at a time, please, because you're making me sound crazy, okay? Even though you've been through so much with people disappointing you, disrespecting you, and dragging you, and burning you out, and making you look like the enemy, making you look like you're the bad person, making you look like you're the villain because you're standing up for yourself. Okay, because they're so sensitive and they can't deal with the truth. This person is going to have your back. Oh my God, why am I feeling like there is going to be times, this is how you know who this person is. Your enemies cannot approach. I'm getting Angel Michael, you guys. <laughs> your enemies are trying to approach you and this, when this person comes around, they're going to be like, uh, well, uh, how can I help you? <laughs> they're, he's like, the, he, she, whoever, this masculine and feminine energy. Listen, I am seeing people trying to get to you and they just scroll up real quickly in a nice way and say, hey, how can I help you? Like, oh, I'll, I'll let them know. Yeah. Yeah. And then don't let you know. She, okay. Only if it's necessary, because they don't want to stress you out. They're, they're removing all the stress that you might feel, the anxiety, and everything that you... Look at how happy you are. Look at how both of you look so happy. Nobody else matters. <laughs> look at how happy your angel is, too. Oh, my God, we did it. Oh, finally, they're together. Oh, my gosh. You know? And it's all because of your ancestors. The people that passed away, they've still been rooting for you. Uh, even though you feel sad that they're not there with you, but they're there in the spiritual side of things. They're there in your dreams. They're there, you know, when you're sitting on the couch and you just don't see them. You might see a little light a flicker on your side of your eye or a little light comes into your eyes or something like a little, um, maybe a, 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 what do you call that? Um, some kind of dust you feel like you see something that's like like go straight like speedily straight to the side of your eye like you know you can't really place it but that's them that's them just being there a little arb that might just go right in the corner of your like straight over like across your face and you're just like hold on a minute what is that okay but that is an orb you know maybe you see shadows okay maybe you feel like something is standing up on the behind you maybe you feel like your hair is sticking up maybe you just feel like your body is trying to tell you you are not alone okay you're not alone wow okay so this is what i have for you <laughs> This is what I have, gems. I hope that it gives you, you know, place you in a better spot in the day because this is really good, okay? We have also Angel of Past, um, past Issues that I feel like anything from your past, again, this is a confirmation of what is happening. Something huge is, is, is happening where they're taking away a lot of things that are not positive. If it's not positive, it's not going to, to, to move forward into the, into the future with you period point blank okay that's what this is but this is what i have i love you guys and i'll see you guys in your next one